on this week's news update. A rolling footbridge. Tasmanian Devils rewilding success. And a paralyzed man walks again. First up, the Cody Dock Bridge is a one-of-a-kind footbridge in London. The bridge is inspired by 19th century engineering and made from steel and oak. It looks similar to other footbridges, but give it 20 minutes and it transforms. To move, the steel teeth on the end of the bridge connect with the pair of tracks on either side of the riverbank. This allows the bridge to roll over 180 degrees to let boats pass underneath. No motors or electricity are required to operate it. Instead, it moves by hand winches. Scrap metal and concrete are used to balance the weight of the walkway and the top of the bridge so that it can smoothly roll over. The bridge's architects hope that it will become an important landmark and a symbol of what creativity and engineering can achieve. Up next, it's Animal Watch. Tasmanian devils live on the island of Tasmania, but have been extinct on mainland Australia for around 3,000 years. However, in 2020, 11 Tasmanian devils were reintroduced to the mainland, where they were released into a sanctuary as part of a rewilding program by the conservation organization Aussie Ark. Since then, another 21 adults have been brought to the sanctuary and 16 babies have been born. Now Lisa, the very first Tasmanian devil released as part of the rewilding program, is carrying triplets in her pouch. Conservationists have discovered that by introducing Tasmanian devils to the sanctuary, it has helped to control the spread of other species and maintain biodiversity. Now, across the world, other rewilding programs are looking to follow the example set by Aussie Ark. And finally, doctors have created brain implants that could help some paralyzed patients to walk again. The implants are surgically placed in the areas of a patient's brain and spinal cord that control leg movement. When turned on, these implants wirelessly reconnect the electrical signals from the brain to the spinal cord via an external computer. In some cases, and for certain patients, this can restore movement to paralyzed legs. After spending a decade paralyzed and unable to move his legs, Gertjan Oskam became the first human patient to trial this breakthrough technology. A year after receiving the implants, he can now stand, walk, and climb stairs. The procedure has been so successful that it is thought new nerve connections have started to develop, and the spinal cord is showing slight signs of recovery. Astonishingly, this means that he can now walk with crutches when the implant is turned off. With these promising results, the doctors who made this breakthrough hope to be able to adapt the technology for patients with other types of paralysis. That's all for this week. We'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Anise from the Twig Science Report team. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Are you looking for more videos to share with your students? Well, we've just launched a brand new YouTube series, Scope, where we delve into some of the hottest topics in media and culture. Watch the latest episode on the future of plastics now.